Okay, I want to welcome everybody here this afternoon uh, to this press conference that we've called. Uh, my name is Trey Duhon, T-R-E-Y, Duhon, D-U-H-O-N. I am Waller County Judge. Uh, standing next to me is Brian Cantrell. Uh, Brian is a captain with the Waller County Sheriff's Office. He is also our emergency management coordinator. Um, we appreciate everybody being here today. The purpose of today's press conference is basically to provide the media and the citizens of the state of Texas and the nation and the world with some additional footage from the jail video that shows that Sandra Bland was alive and well when she was brought to the Waller County Jail. Um, we have several hours of hours of footage that we're going to be providing to you. Um, what you're basically going to be getting, just to give you a little bit of background, and then we're going to go through some of the video here. Um, this is going to basically, what's been given out is probably is three days of raw footage that comes from cameras that were focused on the booking desk, the intake room, the sally port, um, and the hallway leading back to cell tank number 95. So we have a timeline we prepared that's been provided to you. And so what we're going to do is go through this video. Now, why are we doing this? The reason we're doing this is because of the misinformation that has been put out both through social media and even through mainstream media that has led to uh, the, the rumors that Sandra Bland was in some way deceased or harmed or not uh, well when she was brought into the Waller County Jail. Um, this video comes directly, has been ex had, was exported directly from the, DVR the DVRs of the Waller County Jail video prior to that video being taken by the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Uh, for everybody's information, um, and Brian can speak to this a little bit more if there are questions, these are DVRs that are kept under lock and key. Um, they are not under the access of the Waller County Sheriff's Office. Is that correct, Brian? Okay. So but when these video, when these DVRs were removed and put into the possession of the FBI, they exported some files. These are the raw files that you are going to see. Okay. So with that, we're going to go ahead and begin. And again, the, the, this is important. I want to make, <laughs> I can't make this important enough. Because of some of the things that's gone out on so, social media, um, this county has been literally attacked. Uh, we are under cyber attack by individuals uh, like the group called Anonymous, who has claimed that Sandra Bland is deceased in the mug shop. You will see, see video here today that will show that she was alive and well when her mug shot was taken. So we're hoping that by providing this video that will dispel a lot of these rumors and mistruths that's been perpetuated. And I hope people will understand that when it comes to correct information, social media cannot be relied upon. Um, the best source of information is going to be directly from Waller County, the FBI, and the Texas Rangers that are conducting the investigation. The FBI and the Texas Rangers investigation is still ongoing at this time, but we'll go ahead and go through the video now. So what we're going to begin with, the first, the first video file you're going to see uh, starts at approximately 5.23 p.m. on July 10th, 2015. This is camera 26 which is focused on the sally port, which enters the Waller County Jail, where the arrestees are brought into the jail by law enforcement. Go ahead and hit play. So what, are you gonna, what you're going to see in this video is Trooper Insinia in his vehicle enters first. followed by a Prairie View Police Department vehicle driven by Prairie View Police Officer Penny Goody. This is where arrestees are brought in. They're brought into this area. The door is closed so that it's a secure situation. And then the arrestee is removed from the vehicle and brought into the intake area. So what you're going to see now is Officer Goody walk around to the side of her police vehicle and she removes Sandra Bland from the back seat. As you can see, there she is bringing Sandra Bland to the intake door. Okay. All right, that's good. All right, the next video we're going to go to 
is a video that starts at 524 p.m. This is camera 27. This is the camera which is in the intake area of the Waller County Jail. You will see pretty much from the beginning, you will see Officer Goody and Sandra Bland enter the intake area. You will note um, Sandra Bland is wearing the same clothing that was, has been depicted in the dash cam video. And these cameras do not have audio, just so if you're wondering why there's no audio, there is no audio on these video cameras. Okay, entering now is the Waller County Jailer. And then uh, Trooper Brian Insinia enters the intake area. This intake area is where the inmates or the arrestees are begin the processing. Uh, this is also where they undergo the initial um, mental health evaluation. This is going to be about 12 minutes of video, so we're going to go ahead and just let this play. And then as we go through other video, we're going to have to kind of Unless y'all want to be here until 5 o'clock, we'll have to kind of go to the key points.